Hey and welcome everyone to part 7 of my mandolin building series. Yesterday I finished, mostly finished, the soundboard and today I'm going to build the one thing that is going to keep everything together and that is the rim and block set. So as you could see in the intro already I've been cutting some some wood and these here are the rims but they're not perfectly to size them. So I need to cut them down to this smaller size and then I'm going to take them and going to put them into this fixture here. It isn't fixed yet but I'm trying to, go on, uh, to fix it once I have pre-shaped uh, the rims. The rims I have an outline for and those are going to be put on this metal tube that is going to be heated up uh, with a gas heater. And then um, those rims, they have been dried for a long time and we're going to put them into water for roughly 10 minutes and then right before I'm going to put them on the hot tube again for a couple of seconds. Just drain them into in water and then they're going to be formed around this hot tube and the moment that they're going to leave the tube they're going to be they're going to stay in the position that they are that way the rims can be sh shaped to a curvature form that fits into this fixture and where I cut out too much I'm going to try to put some um, stuff in there to fit it to the perfect size. So I'm just gonna do some arrangements, get some of the stuff outside because I don't want to use the gas heater inside and then we're ready to start bending the rims. We got the setup ready. We got the metal tube right here, we got the propane torch right here. Both are being held in a clamp and we have um, the pattern right here and we have a piece of wood and um, the water container. So we're gonna heat this thing up pretty soon and then once the wood is soaked, we're gonna start bending it over the metal tube. Right before we start, let me tell you something about these cool yellow plants that you see in the background. My dad loves them and that's the reason why they're also coming right out of the terrace, but they are actually quite beautiful. Um, they are called Nachtkerzen, which means night candle, and uh, when it gets dark, they pop open and it is in just a matter of a couple of seconds that they open up to this really nice flower and the coolest thing about them is that they are edible mm. and that they are especially the patio extremely sweet so if you ever come across one of these and you're exactly sure those are the same try them the wood has been soaking for roughly 10 minutes now so we're good to go um so it's time to start up the torch and I have these thick gloves so I can actually not touch it but not burn myself as well. After a quick discussion we're changing the setup a little bit to not heat this part and um, well we should just not heat it. Um, but still we're ready to go now. We also have this really awesome laser heat measurement gun thing. So we can now measure the heat, okay, and it says 200, 300, 300 Fahrenheit and roughly 175, 150 Celsius, okay. Let's just see how that works. That does not work as smoothly as we thought it would. Um, so we're gonna try another way of soaking it and getting it really wet the wood and then try bending it again. It started raining outside and so I didn't end up having a chance doing it outside. I set it up inside now in what I think a fairly safe position. The wood has been uh, in, the, in the container behind me now for a while and should be pretty soaked now. So we're gonna try to, to do the whole thing again. I set it up now, this time that, can I, that I can do it alone. My dad needed to go, who was helping me earlier. Um, but so I'm gonna give it another try, and if this is not working, I'm gonna, do, uh, gonna try something else tomorrow. But I'm, I'm quite optimistic that this is gonna work out. So, fire. looks pretty bent to me. I think I finally got the hang of it. I think the biggest thing to do is to constantly keep the wood going and kind of listen to the sound and see 
when there's still steam going up and there's still water going out of the wood, uh, leaving the wood. Um, so that's the point to stop. This is a good curvature already. I think that's it for today. It's getting pretty late. I'm a little bit tired, but I think I have the, a good idea of the process. And so I'm going to finish this tomorrow. So as always, make sure to subscribe for one of the buttons here, leave a comment and see you tomorrow.